Good morning, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I am answering the question of keyboard shortcuts in Gmail. Why are they not working? How do I use them? How can they save me time? Let's get started. Okay, this video came in response to a question from one of our subscribers. Uh, S. Beckus asked the question a couple months ago. Sorry, S. Beckus, for taking three months to respond to this. But she said, could you teach this mom how to use a Gmail shortcut to go or jump to the trash folder? What she's talking about, if you don't know what keyboard shortcuts, it's where if you're in Gmail on your computer, you can just push a, a key or a couple keys on your keyboard and it will do certain tasks that you normally would click around to do just to save time. So jumping to a certain folder would be something like this. Okay, or back to my inbox. Did that all with my keyboard, not with clicking on the, on the folder. And it saves you a lot of time sometimes. So why are they not working or how do you use them? That's what I'll answer in this video. If you go down to the links in the description, you'll see a link to this page. This page shows you what all of the keyboard shortcuts are for Gmail, what they do and what buttons you need to push on your keyboard to do them. In this video, I'm going to show you four or five of them that I like to use frequently, but I'm going to show you how to more importantly make sure they're working because sometimes you might go to uh, like this keyboard shortcut, for example, it's compose or compose an email. In other words, if I just push the letter C, it starts a new email that I can type out to somebody. If I push the letter D, it starts a new email, but it starts it in another tab. So I can type in this other tab, okay? So those are keyboard shortcuts to compose. Well, you might be trying this right now as you're watching this video and they're not working. Here's why. So step one, make sure keyboard shortcuts are turned on. You do this by going to settings right here, the gear icon at the top right, and you need to click on see all settings. It's not one of the basic settings that pop right up. And you need to scroll down and look for shortcuts. It's down somewhere right here, right here. Keyboard shortcuts, okay? Towards the bottom, about three quarters of the way to the bottom. And by default, keyboard shortcuts are turned off. You need to click keyboard shortcuts on and then continue scrolling to the bottom and click save changes. The reason I can't click save changes is because mine were already on. Let me turn them off. Click Save Changes. Okay, now if I go back into Settings, yours should be on if you just turned them off. On. Mine will be off because I turned them off to show you the example. All right, Keyboard Shortcuts. Keyboard Shortcuts on. Scroll to the bottom. Save Changes. Now my keyboards are working. Okay, so again, there's a link in the page where you can see sorry, there's a link in the description where it will take you to this Google article that shows you all the keyboard shortcuts that Google has, but I'm going to show you the few that I like to use a lot. The first one is to compose an email. I just push C and it will pop up and I can now address this email to whoever I want to address it to and I can start typing my email. It saves me time. It's nice. Okay. The one that I was specifically asked by S. Beckus, could you teach this mom how to use a Gmail shortcut to jump to the trash folder? Unfortunately, S. Beckus, there is not a shortcut to go straight to the trash folder. But let me show you a couple things that might be useful in that regard. All right, first off, what she means by jump to a folder is I can go over here and I can click on any folder I want. In this case, I would scroll down, I would click on the trash folder and I could see what emails I have in the trash right now. Okay, and do whatever I want to do with those. So she's asking, is there a button I can push on my keyboard that will just jump here? The answer is no to this folder, but there is to other commonly used folders. So if I hold the letter G and I, it will jump to my inbox. See, I'm back in my inbox. If I hold the letter G and D, it will jump to my drafts folder. These are emails I'm working on, but I haven't finished. If I hold G and T, it will jump to my sent folder, okay? 
And those are the ones I've really used. But mainly I just use GI to go to my inbox or I use GT to go to my sent folder if I'm trying to find something I sent to someone. Or I use GD, as in dog, to go to my drafts folder if there's an email I was working on that I hadn't finished sending. Okay, Those are the ones I most commonly use. Unfortunately, you'd think they'd make one, but there's not one that will jump to the trash folder. So GI back to input. But here's a shortcut to throw something in the trash. Okay, This may be useful to you, Becca's and some of the others out there. I can use a keyboard shortcut to delete this rather than having to click and delete an email that way. So first option, I select the email or emails in a list that I want to delete and I push shift three. Okay. In reality, the shortcut is the hashtag, but you'll notice it's the hashtags on the three button. So you have to push shift three and it will delete that email. You can also be in an email. So I'm in an email here reading it and I go, this is garbage or I'm done with this shift three and that email will delete automatically. Shift three deletes shift three delete or bulk delete by having a few selected shift three delete. That's probably my favorite short shortcut. I use a lot to delete things quickly and uh, there you have it guys. That's how you use keyboard shortcuts. That's why they're not working. They, you didn't turn them on or you're using the wrong keyboard shortcut. So again, there's a link for the full every keyboard shortcut that you can use. And uh, oh, I'll show you one more. I like to use it's this slash for search mail. OK, so up here you can click and you can search mail. I'm always searching mail because I'm trying to find an old email or something. If I just push the slash button, it moves my cursor right up into that search bar and I can search for whatever subject I'm trying to search for. All right. I hope that was helpful, guys. If you have any other questions on anything that I can help you with, please ask it in the these uh, in these comments. I use those as inspiration for future videos that will help you and uh, hopefully somebody else. So have a great day, and remember, you can learn anything. Thanks.